It's Super Videos back for another Q&A video. This is going to be Q&A number 18. So before I start, spoiler alert, I'm going to be answering questions from The Walking Dead TV show and comic book and also Fear the Walking Dead. So I might spoil some things for you if you're not caught up with them. So this is your spoiler alert. So let's get right into this. Let's start with The Walking Dead show questions. The first question comes from Jiggy the Goose Cohen and they ask, will they give Francine a bigger role in the show? I don't think so because there's already so many characters that are there, specifically in season seven, because we've had a lot of more characters added in. We've seen a lot more from characters we've already kind of seen. So right now, Ezekiel and everybody at the kingdom, like Richard and Jerry, people at the sanctuary, for example, Dwight and Negan himself, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some new ones that are going to be showing up in a couple episodes. So because of that, I think they have such a big cast now that they can't really give any of the Alexandrians bigger roles. If they already have some kind of big role like Aaron does, then it's fine. But if they don't, I don't think they're going to invest time building up their characters. For example, Francine, I don't think they're going to build up her character more than they've already done. So no, the answer is no. The next question comes from Gavin Cottrell and they ask, Do you think Michonne will die in season 8? There has been a lot of hints and symbolism in season 6. I don't think they're gonna kill Michonne off, especially because they're building up her relationship with Rick and I don't think they're gonna just kill her off now that they've built that relationship. And Michonne has a lot of story arc in the comic book, so they can't just kill her off. But I do agree that there has been some kind of symbolism and hints for her death. But I think that was intentional because she was part of the lineup and they wanted to give the audience the impression that nobody is safe, not even Michonne. That's why they had those symbolism for her death in season six. The next question comes from Mr. Tokyo777 and they ask, how will the Holly death scene play out on the show and how will they keep it a surprise on who it will be? I think it's going to play out the exact same way it did in the comic book. I don't think they're going to change it. Now in terms of how are they going to keep it a surprise? I don't think they need to be. Because even in the comic book, it wasn't a surprise. We knew that Holly was with Negan. We knew something was going to happen with her. Now, there was a bit of surprise when they came back because we didn't know if she was alive or not. But I don't think that's necessary for the show. I think that scene is so iconic that you are not going to need to make it surprising for comic readers. And for non-comic readers... I think it'll have the same effect as it did in the comic book, so there's no problem there. The next question is from Jiggy the Goose Cohen again, and they ask, should we expect Magna and her group in season 8, or is it way too soon? I think that's way too soon to see Magna and her group. Probably season 9, midway season 9, would be my guess of when we're gonna see Magna and her group. Season 8 is definitely too early. The next question comes from Steven Moraga, and he asks, if Daryl dies by Dwight, would you still like him? I'm talking before All Out War because remember he goes on Rick's side. So that's a great question. I don't think that Daryl is going to die anytime soon. He's not going to die before All Out War. Let's just say that. And if they do end up killing him and have it be Dwight, then yeah, I'm going to dislike Dwight a lot. And it's going to take a lot for him to redeem himself. Because if you got to remember, even in the comic book, for me at least, Dwight hasn't completely redeemed himself, even to this point. He has redeemed himself a lot, but not to an extent that I just don't want him to die and I want everyone to protect him, you know? That's not where it is right now. So if they have Dwight kill Daryl, then it's going to be even worse for me. The next question comes from the Black Antihero, and they ask, Do you think Dwight will become a good guy and join the survivors in the future, or they a bad guy. So I'm going to have to answer this entirely on the knowledge I have from the comic book. And based on the comic book, Dwight is definitely going to join the survivors and work with them to overthrow Negan. The next question comes from Philip Blake. They ask, do you think Enid will have a bigger role this season? I think they're going to give her a little bit more screen time, but I don't think she's going to have a bigger role. And that goes back to what I said previously about Francine, that she doesn't have a big role already and they're not going to invest too much time to build up her character because they have such a big cast right now. 
The next question comes from David Farley and they ask, do you think Sherry is really being nice to Daryl or is it some kind of setup? I think part of it is genuine and part of it is set up. So when she stopped Daryl from fleeing and telling him to get back to his cell, I think that was a setup. Negan told him to do that. But when Sherry was apologizing to Daryl for the things she's done, saying I'm sorry and everything like that, I think that is genuine. I think she's genuinely sorry for doing this to Daryl and she's really trying to be nice to Daryl as well. Now let's do some Walking Dead show slash comic book questions. The question comes from Steven Moraga and he asks, which relationship don't you like the most? Carnid or Clidia? Carl and Enid or Carl and Lydia? That's a tough question to answer, but I would say I don't like Carnid at this point because Carl and Enid's relationship hasn't really been that invested on and it's really small, it's at the surface, and because of that, I don't like that relationship at the moment. Let's do some comic book questions. The question comes from Primalian Overlord, and they ask, when do you think Negan will die, and who will kill him? I think if he dies, he's gonna have to die by the end of the Whisperer War. I don't think we're gonna have Negan alive at the end of the war if they're planning to kill him off soon. So that's my prediction. And who I think is gonna kill him? I have three top picks at the moment and I can't get myself to decide who I want to kill him. The top three choices are Rick, Carl and Maggie and if I want to order it I would say Maggie's at the top then probably Rick and Carl at the end. The next question comes from Nikolai Shijad and I'm sorry if I pronounced the names wrong. The question is why do you think it's important for Beta that the other whispers don't see his face? That's a great question. I think most of that is like having power, basically. He feels that if they see his face, then that takes away from his power. Then he is just like anybody else, that there's nothing unique about him. What makes him unique is the mystery, basically their mystery around who he really is. Because even other whispers, they definitely take their masks off when they're at the camp, when they're together, but Beta never takes his mask off. And I think for him, if they see his face, then the mystery is gone. And for the mystery to be gone, then it kind of takes away from his power. That's what he thinks, in my opinion. There's one question that's related to Fear the Walking Dead and the Walking Dead TV show. And the question comes from 0718 Dragon Lord, And they ask, instead of Fear the Walking Dead, what would be your ideal Walking Dead spinoff? I think Fear is okay, but I feel it could be better. Yeah, you're definitely right. There's a lot of potential for fear, but it's nowhere at the level of The Walking Dead. And if I have to decide what my ideal Walking Dead spinoff would be, it would probably be something that's in an entirely different location. So probably a spinoff that starts with the military. That would be great to see, you know, from a military perspective, how things went down. And I think there's a lot of potential there. So I definitely want to see something like that. That's it for this Q&A video. Thanks for participating. If you want to participate in my next Q&A video, make sure to put your questions in the comment section of this video. Put Q&A before your question so I can find it. I'll be doing my next Q&A probably next Friday again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.